Hi YouTube. So I decided to do an organization video for Bentley. If you follow us on Instagram, she has got a whole bunch of new stuff yesterday. She's got a first aid kit. She's got new grooming tools, uh, new toys, new treats. So I'm going to show you what all she got. So up here on top, we have her food. And we have a little note, so if somebody wants to babysit her or something, they know what to give her. In our second box, which is our medical box, we have her gauze, some gloves, uh, band-aids for me just in case she cuts me or something, uh, some scissors, we have little nursing bottles. I had a baby rabbit uh, not too long ago, and she was drinking out of these bottles. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you know Bentley was sick, so we had to give her some liquid medicine with a syringe. Uh, let's see. Some more Band-Aids for me. Some tape. She's got some gall pads. And that's it for our medical box. Here's Bentley's grooming box. We have some baby wipes. That's what I give her a bath with. Because you're not supposed to give them a bath in a bathtub. So we use baby wipes. If she has medicine spilt on her, liquid medicine, I can easily wipe it off. Um... If I need to clean her legs with a warm rag, that's what I use. Uh, here's a brush that came in a package that I will not use. So don't think I'm being mean to her or anything because I, I don't use this and I don't recommend it. Here's another brush that I really don't like. Uh, I don't brush it hard on her, but she's really sensitive to this brush. So I wouldn't really recommend using it on her either maybe a long-haired guinea pig or something but I wouldn't use this brush this brush she doesn't mind me using on her it's kind of it's not really stiff but it's kind of soft medium type thing I mean it's a little bit harder to use on a baby but I mean it's fine with her so I would recommend y'all using this brush then she has some little nail clippers. And by the way, the nail clippers, the pink brush, and this brush all came in a package together with a wood chew. And I think it was like $11.95 at Petco. Some other stuff in her grooming box. She has these little bows. I don't really put them on her anymore. She's got a little harness and lead, which she doesn't like the harness either. So that's the end of our grooming box. And by the way, I bought all three of these boxes to go in these drawers. But Bentley had more stuff before I went shopping, so they don't fit. So in this first drawer, which is our miscellaneous drawer... We have, I'm not going to take everything out, but we have a food keeper a container, a red food bowl. We've got a water bowl back there that she doesn't use because it leaks. We've got some little treat containers in here, uh, a medicine bottle that you can put treats in, uh, one of these. Um, containers you get at Walmart that uh, you put like jewelry beads in and she has several of these clips for her, her hay bag and uh, her food if I have any left over then over here she has one of these electric cord boxes and I plan on using this during the winter if she needs a heat pad or something there's her hay rack she don't like. 
She has some extra stickers back here for labeling. Uh, Bentley just got spayed last Monday. And we thought we was going to have to use this collar of shame on her. But thankfully we didn't. So I'm really happy about that. Let's see. She has the rabbit handbook. And it's $12.99, so if you'd like to pick this up and read it, I think I got it at Barnes & Noble, I think. And then also in this drawer, Bentley has her alfalfa cubes, since she's still a baby. But, I mean, she, she'll be four months old on the 19th, and a few more weeks, and I'll get her off of the alfalfa cubes. But she is eating Timothy hay. In our second drawer, choose treats and toys. Now, I am planning on getting a guinea pig because Bentley is very picky. Half the stuff I buy her, she does not like. So I'm going to show you her favorites and her not favorites. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open up the drawer. She has some sisal rope that we got from uh, Hobby Lobby, and it's $3.99, so I plan on making some toys for her and the guinea pigs. She has some of this food left over that me and my cousin had to pick out all the seeds and all the treats. So I'm saving this food because I don't want to waste it, but I am going to take the treats out. Here's her favorite little dumbbell um, that she chewed up. She has these Oxbow uh, peppermint treats, but she doesn't like these, so hopefully the guinea pig will like them. She also has some sisal rope that I tried to make a toy, and she's already destroyed it, so there's some extra sisal rope. Uh, I forgot what these are called. But Bentley does not like these, and thank God, because it's filled with seeds. Um, I'm trying to find a friend or someone that has an animal that can eat seeds. I'm not going to give this to my guinea pig. But uh, if you know of an animal that can eat this, I think hamsters can eat it. Uh, please comment and tell me. The next thing uh, Bentley got yesterday is this digestive support treats i gave her one yesterday and she really liked it but i'm not going to give these to her all the time uh because they're really expensive i think they're 8.99 at my local pet store and i want to go back and get the other two treats that's like these so we'll have a nice little collection if you've seen my other video you know i don't like these yogurt chips because it made bentley really sick so I'm going to give these away to a friend that has an animal that can eat these also. Okay, so I went to Walmart and got some uh, crayon boxes. And these will be for the bunny and the pig. Uh, in the bottom, it's got her uh, Timothy apple baked biscuits. And I think these are called nibble rings. Bentley does not like these, but I kept giving them to her and giving them to her, and I wouldn't let her eat her favorite treats. So now she's been eating these. Let's see if she'll eat one now. Bentley, here. Here. Well, I guess she don't want it, but oh well. And this box is her bunny and pig chews i think yeah that's what it is okay this chew came with her grooming kit i think it's a little strawberry but as you can see that's her favorite little chew right now and she doesn't really chew a lot of chews which kind of makes me upset but anyways um when i went to pet smart yesterday they had some toys on sale, but they were bird toys. And they had all of these little pieces 
on a rope hanging toy with these big loofahs. And so I didn't want her to digest the rope. So I was going to take it off and put it on a chain. But now I think I'm going to make a hanging toy with the sisal rope out of it for her or the guinea pig, whichever one really likes it. I haven't given her any of these uh, colored ones. She loves the dumbbell, which she's destroyed. Keep buying them for her and they're gone in five minutes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. These are those uh, apple sticks. I give her one a week just to try to save chews. Um, here's the seagrass uh, sea grass twist, I think. And these I got from PetSmart yesterday. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, it doesn't say what they're for. It just came in a package of nine. So I think I'm going to give these to the guinea pig just because they're really skinny. And I'll give these to Bentley. And there's, and there's also these little uh, wood sticks. I think it's called from Market something. I'm really not sure. But, I mean, if you go to the toy section, you'll find a package of ten of these. And they should be right beside the... Uh, the twist toys. Over in this box, which is Bentley's favorite, and these will be for the pig too because she don't like half the stuff that's in here. But anyways, here's her treats. I got these from Walmart. Uh, they're not really healthy for her, but she loves the pink ones. As you can see, they're almost gone. She don't like green. She don't like yellow. So, I'm not sure if the guinea pig can have these. I need to dub, uh, double check. She doesn't really care for these treats. But, I mean, if I leave her in her cage, eventually she'll eat them. She loves these dried apple treats. I think I got them from Petco. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see, like, a, a treat toy haul picture. So, then you can see... The name of the package that's on there and then we got her apple strudel biscuits she loves these but she's gonna have to share with the guinea pig and in my last video I couldn't remember what these were called so I had them in this little container and they're called hoops and honey treats so if y'all want to pick up a bag of those you should definitely try them out and in the Hearts food bag that Bentley used to eat, like I said, I had to pick out all these little treats. Uh, I don't really give them.